Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Tuesday today, and it is not as nice a day as it was supposed to be. Out of yesterday and today, today was supposed to be the nicer of the two days. Mm, the air is a little warmer, but it's not at all sunny. Leather Bag Lady Weather Report. The fog this morning, thick as soup, as they say. It was terrible. But it's starting to clear up now, and it's been a great day despite that. And I will share with you why after today's item. So today's item is not a purse. It is a beautiful, made in England, burgundy leather travel pouch. Now, back in the day, these items were what we carried with us to keep all our documents in, such as traveler's checks, baggage checks, passports, landing tickets, currency, airline tickets, and whatever else were on your list of things to carry. Isn't this amazing? So, real leather made in England. I don't think this has ever been used. It is in amazing condition. Has the original key. And it's just superb. If you want to use it to travel, by all means. I'm sure wherever you were to take it, people would either reminisce about items they also had or just ooh and ah about the fact that everything is in one place. Now, saying that, I'm off to Mexico in a couple of weeks. And you never know, I may take, not this one, but I may take something similar so that all my junk is in a place where I can get it just like that. So this, it's a small item, but it is, um, it's quite rare to find it with the existing key or the original key. And it is in as new condition. There is a little bit of um, color loss on the lock mechanism, but that is about it. And it's barely even noticeable. But I love these travel accessory cases. I just love them. And that is today's item. So there we go. So today has been kind of a special day. Um, went to the gym, had a great workout this morning. And then uh, my daughter is in town um, unexpectedly. So I picked up both Harry and Sarah and we went and had a late breakfast, early lunch with Pius and one of his work colleagues. Uh, we got to meet some people that Pius or meet a person that Pius works with, which is kind of nice because I hear these names every day and I don't really have a face to put them to. So uh, it was kind of nice and he was a very nice gentleman, sat with us and you know, make conversation with the kids, which isn't easy sometimes with these teenagers. Harry did stay off his phone for the most part, which was really nice. <laughs> and then I dropped Harry home and Sarah and I went shopping, which is something we have done since she was a little, little, little girl. And by shopping, I don't mean, you know, Maple View Mall or anything like that. We went thrift shopping, which is what we do. We did go to the clearance section at Old Navy because there was a dress that I really, really liked. I think I mentioned it some months ago, but it was too expensive and I took my gamble on whether or not I would see it and I didn't, so that's fine. I did buy a couple of tops though in preparation for my trip uh, in a couple of weeks and um, then we did go thrifting and um, Sarah got the find of the day. We went to Plato's Closet, which is kind of a thrift store for young uh, people, teens, uh, you know, 20-somethings. Although I did find a sweater in their racks that I have in my closet. So, <laughs> but Sarah is 5'9-ish and uh, she's a tall girl and she has a bigger size foot. So, she was down in the bottom rack where she kind of made a little funny comment about, oh, my sizes are all down here. 
And then she pulled out these amazing boots. Now the style right now is not necessarily my cup of tea, but it's a very chunky, chunky boot. And um, the sole is very thick and it has kind of like the old style sandcastle, you know, uh, kind of, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like the rubber soles that have the very deep treads on them and quite thick. So Sarah pulled these boots out and she goes, um, these are my size. And she says, they're only 20 bucks, but I don't know if they're real leather. So I had to look at them, had to get my glasses out, of course. And I'm like, these are leather. And then I flipped them over and made in Italy. There's no maker's brand. They, the fur inside them was so soft. Now, poor Sarah suffers from bunions, which is a family uh, gift from her father's side, not my side, but she really struggles to uh, find shoes that are, you know, maybe a bit more fashionable. So this kind of chunky boot trend is right up her alley and they fit her like a glove. And I'm like, all right, girly, you got to walk out with those. You got to have those. When she was a little girl, we found a pair of silver Doc Martens and that little thing lived in them for two years easy she wore them with her dress to her grade 8 grad I think I think it was grade 8 grad I'm not sure but she has a style of her own my Sarah and these boots are just going to be the difference between her wearing running shoes all the time and being a little bit more fashionable so it was so fun and she's took a whole bunch of stuff into uh, Plato's closet and made a few bucks actually and um, she's got a very good eye Sarah she says she learned it from me but she has a very eclectic eye she can put um, a she knows what sells she's a bit of a reseller herself and she knows what to buy to resell and it was just great it was like going down memory lane when we were you know, Saturday mornings, Sarah and I used to go up and down Ottawa Street. We'd go to Helen's for breakfast or we'd go to the Bedrock Bistro. Harry wouldn't come out of his room because he was too busy playing his video, video games. Or he had been up all night playing video games with his buddies and didn't want to come out with us. I mean, let's face it, a boy doesn't want to go shopping. But um, we used to have a lot of fun, Sarah and I. So we had a little bit of that today. And we had a little ice cream treat as well. <laughs> Oh dear, just in that mood today for some reason, I don't know why. The sun is starting to come out. I don't know, maybe might be able to sit outside for a little bit, but it's getting, it's already 20 after 3. So uh, we are out tomorrow. I might not be able to do a video for you tomorrow. We are going to see uh, Men of the Deep, which is, I don't know if I mentioned this to you yesterday. Um, it is a choir of coal miners from um, Cape Breton Island and Pius actually knows one of the gentlemen who will be performing in Brantford tomorrow so we are going to go and see the performance and maybe connect with uh, his buddy maybe not who knows but all I know is the day off tomorrow and we more than likely will be out and about the weather's not supposed to be all that great so I don't think there'll be any bike time tomorrow but I always love a day off with my man. Always, always. And it was nice for Harry and Sarah to spend a little bit more time. I mean, not that it was necessarily, um, you know, great interactive time. But uh, it was nice to see them just kind of be in each other's company. Because um, that's how it's going to be. So um, I don't see a lot of the kids. But uh, eh maybe now's the time to make a bit more of an effort on my part because I kind of let them do their own thing because uh, it it would kind of upset me when they were busy all the time because I was always here by myself but now that I have pious if they're too busy to hang out then that's okay I don't have to come home and just be by myself and kind of feel sorry for myself anymore so anyway so that was my day don't know what we're doing tonight not sure what time pious will be home um, but it doesn't matter because it's always great. We uh, we went out last night on the bike for a short while. It was cold. And we ended up uh, dropping into Tally Ho, which I know is Sarah's favorite. That's where we go for her birthday every year. 
and uh, Pius has never been. So I thought, well, let's see if he likes it, because if he does, then he'll probably come with us when it's Sarah's turn. Sarah actually shares a birthday with Pius' uh, granddaughter, Abby. So um, anyway, we, we went in there and we ended up engaging in conversation with this gentleman who was such a lovely man. And he was in his 70s and you could just tell how lonely he was. And he started talking about bikes because he had motorcycles and he has a boat. And um, he was uh, talking to me in the line about being uh, single and needing to get a phone because he wants to go online and try and find a lovely lady. And I said, well, that's how Pius and I met. So, oh, he wanted to know all about it. So I told him, what did I tell him? Our time. He's like, my buddy wants to put me on that, but they won't let me go on it because I don't have a phone. So, and I said, well, any lady that you chitty chat to is going to want to hear from you and text and whatever. So go and get a phone, buddy. So that was kind of cute. He was such a nice gentleman, had had some uh, health issues in the past. So he was wanting to live every day like it was his last because it almost was. So it's just been a great 24 hours. Oh, had my doctor's consultation today. Um, two hours late, thank God, because I forgot all about it. Um, there is a new type of hormone replacement that is on the market and the nurse practitioner says it will take everything away. Now, will it gain me weight? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the side effects because if it will, then all I'm going to be doing is replacing one stress with another and I'll, I will take hot flashes over getting heavy again any day. So I'm going to have to really look at that because there is no way I want to uh, set myself up for that. Especially, I'm finding it really hard. The last couple of months, um, I've really struggled with snacking. I mean, the first two or three months, I guess, you know, I was in love and well, I still am. But I guess, I don't know, I was just so preoccupied, I didn't even think about it. But I'm finding it really tough. So like I said, I definitely don't want any uh, issues with that. So I will keep you posted on that. I don't know how much it is. I don't have benefits or anything like that. She said it is a little pricey, but it's not crazy. So I don't know what that means. I guess that could mean something different for everybody. But um, anyway, that's it for me today. Have a great rest of the day, whatever you're up to. And I may or may not be able to speak to you tomorrow. We'll see how the day goes. Uh, but definitely on Thursday. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.